player sounds, the bread and butter sounds, the sort of thing you'd use if you were playing in a semi-pro band down your local pub. Um, just to give you an example of how the Jupiter can be used in a different context to what you will have already seen on YouTube, which is lots of videos showing all the great synth sounds. Now, remember, this is a real powerhouse of a keyboard. Um, it's got thousands and thousands of sounds built into it. It's kind of a best of Roland over the last 30 years. Um, but what I'm doing here is showing you the sounds like the pianos, the electric pianos, the organs, that kind of thing. Just the sort of thing that you might need to use if you wanted to take this out uh, to play uh, in a local live situation. So let's start with listening to some of the uh, RD piano sounds and the electric pianos and the clavs. So in those examples, I was just using individual sounds on their own, adding a little bit of effect to it as well, just to show you how this can sound in a sort of a live player context. Um, let's choose a few of the other quite popular sounds that you might need. Um, let's start off with the organ sounds and then moving into some of the brass tones.
So you may have noticed when I was playing those organ sounds earlier on that I was actually using the expression pedal. Now I've got the expression pedal here that I was using. I actually favour the Hammond expression pedals. Uh, this one is called an EXP50J and we always stock this at Bonners, but it's a proper solid metal construction um, expression pedal with a nice long travel. Um, for me, it's the best expression pedal on the market um, and there are quite a few good ones out there, but this just works really well. So the Hammond one is fully compatible with uh, the Jupiter X and other Roland products as well. So um, if you're looking for a decent quality expression pedal, check out our website. There'll be a link in the description to this movie for this actual pedal as well. So it's called the Hammond EXP50J. Now in this next example, I'm going to showcase the vocoder function on the Jupiter X. And I've got to say, it's one of the best vocoders that I've ever used. It's extremely clear. Um, and because the panel layout is so good of the Jupiter X, it's so easy to modify things like adding reverb, adding delay, and then also bringing in additional sounds behind the vocoder sound. So I've just plugged the microphone into the back, and then I'm gonna just show you the vocoder on its own, and then layering a few sounds with it too. This is the sound of the vocoder in the Jupiter X. It's the nicest sounding vocoder I have ever played. So let's add a little reverb to the vocoder. Bit of reverb. Bit of reverb. Oh, we like our reverb on this sound. And we'll add some delay to it. Delay. delay. Delay, 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 delay. Now I'm selecting synth sounds to sit behind my vocoder voice. I really love the vocoder effect in the Jupiter X. Um, it's really great for creating intros. It's so simple and it's, it's ever so clear. Um, even with other sounds sitting behind the vocoder, you can still hear every single word that is spoken through the vocoder. So it's really good for creating intros, sort of atmospheric sounds, and also just for adding some backing vocals behind your lead singer. So let's now take a listen to a few more sounds. I'm gonna play you some string sounds here and then some of the synth sounds. So we've got synth lead and a really nice synth brass stab sound.
So remember with the Jupiter X that you can actually layer four tones on top of each other and you also have a separate rhythm part as well. So you can create some quite complex, big textures of sound. Um, in this next example, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take a piano sound and then I've also got two synth pads or string sounds to layer with the piano. And you can of course set key windows on the keyboard so the different zones can start and end wherever you want on the keyboard. So when I'm layering piano and strings together, I like to leave my top octaves purely for piano and the strings kind of fade out sort of around C5 area. So just take a listen, I'll play the piano first and I'll bring in the two string sounds separately. And it's just a really nice effect. So that brings me to the end of my really short video demonstration on the Jupiter X. This keyboard is so powerful, there's so much to show you, but I just really wanted to focus on this particular aspect of it because I don't feel anyone has really touched these sounds yet online. Um, and lots of people have been asking me, you know, how does it sound in terms of pianos and brass and strings and your kind of normal keyboard player sounds. Um, if you're thinking about buying a Jupiter X, then we take part exchange here at Bonners. So if you have a keyboard you'd like to upgrade to a Jupiter X, just get in touch. You'll find our contact details in the description below this movie. We also offer finance options for helping you purchase a Jupiter X. Um, this is the kind of keyboard you'd buy and you have for years and years. It's very solidly built. It's so good at so many different types of sounds that um, it's the sort of thing that will become your kind of workhorse keyboard for a long time. So anyway, if you have any questions about keyboards or Jupiter X, then please do get in touch. We're happy to help. Um, and I shall see you in another one of my keyboard demonstration movies.